Hello, hello, it's business partner B1 Plus, Unit 5 Logistics, Lesson 5.2, Exercise Grammar. We are here on with the workbook and we have here some exercises. It's on grammar and it's to talk about the passive. We are learning how to talk about things, but not with the focus on the person who does the action, but the thing that received the action. For example, here is packed. The person packs the parcel. The parcel is packed by a person. You see the difference? This is what we are going to talk today about. Complete the table with the singular and plural forms of the passive. Here we have the singular of the verb pack. So in the present simple, verb to be, we need the verb to be and the other verb in the past participle, right? So it is packed. The parcel is packed in the in the delivery area of the company. Oh, something like that. The past simple passive. It's the singular. So it is packed. It was packed yesterday. The future passive. We need a future and then verb to be and then we need the past participle of the verb. So the parcel will be packed when possible. Present perfect passive. It has happened. It was, it happened in the past and has a result in the present. Most often, this is the use of present perfect. So the parcel has been packed. So it was packed and it's here ready to be delivered. Right? And has already been packed or has just been packed, just very recently, already been packed. It, oh, it has, has it. So it can include the idea of surprise. It was earlier than expected. And then we have the plural. But here for the plural, we don't have the verb pack. We have the verb to deliver. So we have it here. This, the plural is are. So the parcels are delivered every day. In the past, the parcels were delivered yesterday. Future passive will be delivered. You don't have a different one here, right? And then you have the present perfect, have, because I, ha oh, he has, but they have. So the parcels have been packed or have been delivered um, so far. Mm, then we have the verb to develop. And in the singular, the idea, the project, no, the idea is what can be developed. Mm, something is developed <laughs> very well by those people. The past was developed. The future will be developed. The project will be developed. Do you de develop a project? Mm. And the present perfect, uh, it's the singular, so it has been developed. The plural is done here. So, are done. That task, that those tasks are done by those people. Those tasks were done 
those tasks have been done, have already been done. The negative is hasn't or have been done, right? Have been done. Um, the negative hasn't been packed, hasn't been, uh, haven't been delivered, hasn't been developed, uh, haven't been done. Okay, this is this table here. The second exercise is easier, I think, because we have to put um, just that to show that something has happened very recently. And then we have already, because it has happened kind of earlier than expected. And here, yet, you use in the negatives to show that it hasn't happened, but you expected that to happen, or you use in a question, and you use it in the end of the sentence. Right here, for example, you are going to use yet. Okay, so the courier loaded the packages onto the van this morning. The packages, and it's plural, have already, have already been loaded onto the van. She read, she read the email a minute ago. A minute ago is very recent. Okay, so the email has just been read. Three. What do you have in three here? What is the sentence? Here. The company hasn't finished the report. So the report hasn't been finished yet. So you see the yet? The report hasn't been finished yet. And you see the company, by the company. The company isn't necessary in the sentence. Maybe the person responsible for that you, is, it's important to know and to be fired because it hasn't finished the report yet. Enrique gave me the revised schedule yesterday. Or if you prefer, you can say schedule, if you prefer the American pronunciation. I don't need another copy. I don't need another copy. Why not? Because I have already been given Enrique, the revised schedule by Enrique. So he gave me. So I have been given. I have already been given the revised schedule. Have you booked the flight to Istanbul? In the passive voice, it isn't about you, it's about the flight being or not being uh, booked, right? So let's see how it is. It is, has the flight to Istanbul been booked yet? Has the, fl has the flight to Istanbul been booked yet? You see the use of yet in the end of the sentence. Juanita added the information you required a moment ago. Again, it's very recent, so you use just. The information you require has been added. But it was a moment ago, so has just been added by Juanita. And now let's praise Juanita by doing that so quickly. So you include her name. I've sent the letter to the client. The letter has already been sent to the client. Oh, very nice. Very nice. How efficient. <laughs> And now we have to decide in exercise three whether the first sentence in each of the sentence or of in 
sorry, if the sentence in each question in exercise 5b is active or passive. What is this? These are here. Look, I will present the report at the next meeting. Um, all right. Okay, look. Number one, is it active or passive? I will present the report at the next meeting. This is active voice. Right. Can I write here? Let me try. Let me try to write in blue. Let me try. So this is active voice. This is an A. Sorry for that. Two. It has been written about it has been written about by all the car reviewers. This is passive, been written. Look, verb to be, past participle. So this is the passive pattern. Three, they haven't delivered our new fridge yet. Oh, that's not nice. Haven't delivered, they delivered. So the point is that you're not talking about the fridge, but about them. Obviously, you are talking about the fridge, but the subject is they, not the fridge. So this is active, because they should have delivered the fridge. So this is active voice. That's the point. In four, you can do this task very easily. Oh, this is an easy task to answer, right? You do. So, you do the action, not the action is done by you. So, this is active voice again. Five. And do I have space for that? The laptop is manufactured by a Japanese company. A company manufactures the laptop. But the laptop is manufactured. So, this is the passive voice. Oops, sorry for that. Let me use the space I have. Six. We won't complete the order on time. Oh, no. There was a lesson about deadlines, right? The we complete the order or not complete. But the point is that we are performing or not the action. So this is active voice. Seven, will the project be finished by Friday? By us, by them. So the, the person who performs the action isn't in the sentence because it's not necessary. Everybody knows probably, or it's not important. The point is that this is the passive voice here, right? Okay, ready, bye-bye, no. We have now to change the active sentences to passive and the passive sentences to active. Oops, how do we do that? Well, simple, isn't it? Ah, maybe. Let's see. Let's go to the exercise and say how we can do that. It's the third exercise. No, this is the exercise. We have already done that. So this is now what we have to do. I will present the report at the next meeting. The report will, verb to be, past participle, will be presented, right? Will be presented by me at the next meeting. It, was, it has been written about by all the car reviewers. All the car reviewers wrote about it. Have written. Yeah, sorry. It's present perfect. So sorry. Yes, have written about it. They haven't delivered our new fridge yet. Our new fridge hasn't been delivered yet, hasn't been delivered. 
You can do this task very easily. This task can be done very easily. Remember, after a modal verb like can, you have the infinitive. Oops, can be done, right? And thank you, we have more space to finish. The laptop is manufactured by a Japanese company. It's passive voice, right? And now we have to put the subject here, a Japanese company. A Japanese company manufactures uh, the laptop. It's strange, isn't it? We won't complete the order on time. The, word, the order won't be completed on time. Won't be completed. Will the project be finished by Friday? Will you, now we know who is going to do the task, will you finish the project by Friday? Remember, after the uh, modal verb, will, we have a infinitive. Will you finish the project by Friday? Talking about finishing, we have basically finished the exercises. So, I ask you, if possible, that you strike the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you're really, really, really happy, I like coffee. So, there's a link for you to buy me a coffee, if you want. Okay, but it was nice, really nice to be with you here during the video. And I wish, I hope, I have helped you do your exercises, understand this topic of grammar that is the passive voice. See you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.